Hello everyone and welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 3. This is it. This is the final one. The conclusion of Life is Strange, at least the Chloe saga. I don't really know what's gonna happen here. I mean, we kind of know what's gonna happen a little bit because we know Rachel Amber's fate. But I'm really curious to see how it all goes down and really how... How Chloe reacts to all of it because, let me tell you, I'm not buying what, I, what Rachel Amber is spitting out here. I think she's kind of... <laughs> Kind of the worst thing ever to happen to Chloe. So let's just see exactly how it all comes together and see if we can see any hints of how Rachel kind of, in my opinion, is going to betray Chloe. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a Rachel Amber fan by any stretch of the imagination because she's just been so nasty this whole time, man. She really just has. She's been evil. She's just so manipulative and just trying to use Chloe to get what she wants like this. Previously, cheap thrill. On life is I don't know, man. Before the storm, I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel. Lots of F-bombs. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Right, so what I was trying to say is I have another save file put together for you guys for like alternate playthrough type things, which we'll probably live stream. But right now we have all these choices you just saw here. But again, I have pretty much the flip-flopped on almost all of them. So we'll be able to go through I those as well. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. <laughs> okay, guess we're getting in on this. <laughs> okay then. Of course. Of course. <laughs> In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Yeah, how did this go down? I really want to know this. I'm so curious about this. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long but the truth can be hard to look at is this really something you're ready for she's got to feel so adopted right now <laughs> yeah we're ready i'm even wearing my hot dog shirt oh my god i'm so ready chloe I'm here versus you can handle this. Oh, I'm totally here. I want to see the deets. I'm right here. Good. I need you. This kind of takes me back to what? Episode 5 of the original Life is Strange game where we had this weird type of... Point to the viewfinder. Press sec. <laughs> you think I don't know how to play the game? Kind of had this weird like... Surreal type of surrounding or setting where everything around you wasn't real and it was just really focused on Max and what was immediately in front of her. Going in. Don't worry, you got Mr. Hot Dog by your side.
Oh, what is this? Cool. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. <laughs> Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. Oh, look at this guy. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Blind from what? Okay, I get the feeling, by the way, that Sarah is the real trouble causer here. In a lot of ways, like, she's the... She's the one that makes Rachel crazy. And also, probably, possibly... Her being around is what's making Rachel crazy. Like, she has this presence about her. There's been theories that Rachel also has powers, kind of like Max does. I don't know if it'd be, like, you know, time travel stuff. But the idea that she's supernatural, in a sense. And I think Sarah kind of brings that trouble with her. And not to mention, Frank said that, too. That wherever this girl goes, trouble follows. So, I don't know. I'm curious to see more. She was so alive. Ooh, look at this dance so here. passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. It looked like you're having a good time. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Okay. So if she was looking for escape, getting her preggers probably was the exact last thing she was ready to deal with, right? Wow, she's just up already? Wow. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. The trooper should be laying down after pushing Becoming one of those out. Your father is the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. <laughs> okay, but why were you kissing her? Still don't get that part. Why were you smooching up on Sarah? It's not explaining too much yet. Okay, so what is that? Descent? Yeah, descent. However much she loved you then. It wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Uh oh. Doing drugs. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. Did she? I was wrong. Oh no. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was a destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied by anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. What? I was like, desperate. That cry. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What did she do to her? Left her in the crib? Am I missing something here? Dude, first off, that cry. <laughs> She's like a freaking goat for a little bit there. <laughs> but what did she do? I mean, she was drugging up there, which was obviously bad, but she didn't do anything to Rachel there. She like hit her or shake her or do something? Like what did I what did I miss here? I think I I think I'm not the only one not understanding what she did other than just like neglect her and not take care of her, right? Right? Not to saying that that's not a big deal, but he made it sound more direct than that. I don't know. What you saw at the Overlook, Ray, 
Rachel. It was true. We kissed. Why? It was the saddest kiss of my life. Why did you do that? It was a kiss. Goodbye. I told her. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. So she's angry. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Why'd you have to kiss her on the lips is what I don't get. Why not a little on the cheek or something? Way more explainable than a big old, big old sloppy French right in the mouth. I saw a tongue. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Wow, so can I be abrasive or can I be abrasive here? Hmm, got a lot of choice. <laughs> Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe... The, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Uh, Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Oh, you're both 15. Okay. I wasn't really sure. I figured they were about that age because I'm pretty sure they're like 17, 18 and life is strange, right? She seems so much older than a 15-year-old. Chloe doesn't right now, but Aunt Rachel Amber does. Still, why'd you kiss her on the lips? Not really getting that one. I'm sure wifey doesn't feel that great about that either. Ooh, we got a group text message. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Okay, so I used to think the strangest thing about the Ambers was how normal they were. They seemed like a bad 90s sitcom family. And I did my best to play the part of the wacky yet lovable best friend. I chatted with Rose, Rachel's surprisingly cool mom. Okay, that's her name. I called her wifey and I was like, oh god. I didn't call her by her name. I'm being a jerk because I didn't remember her name. So it's Rose and Mr. Amber. I can't remember his name either. <laughs> uh, the goal was to help get in and get out without causing a scene so we could make our escape. About that. It turns out Rachel couldn't sit back and let her cheating father act all high and mighty. I tried to distract her and remind her of her our goal. It almost worked. Rachel snapped. She just can't stand the lying anymore. She told her mom about James, James and Rose. Okay. By making James making out with that woman, everyone started yelling, and the next thing I knew, Rachel was going full destruction on the table. That's when the truth finally came out. Rachel's mom, not her mom. Rachel's real mom, make out woman. Mind blown. Chloe, the wacky, you lovable. Right. There's actually a ton of these, isn't there? Oh my god. There's 20 of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, chat. Well, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. I'm doing it so you can pause and read them if you want them. I'll do it later. I'll probably do it on live stream. Because I had not realized how many of these that there were. Woo! I figured there was like one an episode. I didn't realize there was 20 of them already. 
Dang, there's lots to read through here. Okay, well, we read through that one, I guess. Let's go ahead and try to talk about what's going on right in front of us here, though. Show, Mr. Amber. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you, too, Mr. Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. The one thing I'm really curious about is how, or if, I don't want to say how, I'm wondering if Rachel and Mr. Not Rachel. <laughs> Sarah. I'm wondering if Sarah and Mr. Jefferson are tied together at all. Hmm. I I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It would surprise is. me if she were. That's who she is. We already know Chloe, she is. I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. <laughs> She's so young. You are too. Uh. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Okay, a few things all about that. So, we already know... We already know that Sarah is involved with the drug dealers. Mainly, Frank, right? He... She popped right on out of his trailer. We know that she and Frank are involved with each other. My phone apparently thought that I was saying, hey, Bixby, when I said trailer Frank, all that type of jazz. My phone just, like, went off at me. <laughs> so, yeah, we know that she's involved with Frank. And then Frank not only is involved with Sarah, but Frank is also involved with Damon, I think his name is. The guy that went and broke Drew's leg. So... She's involved with bad people, and the reason why I say bad people is because they're like, well, Frank's not that bad. Well, Damon definitely is. Frank's kind of like that middleman, but Damon's definitely a bad dude. So, there is that danger coming in with Damon. Huh. Hmm. And again, I'm, I'm just really I curious. I that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. I'm just really curious to see if Mr. Jefferson gets tied into this episode at all. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay. Rose. And, you know, can't help but think to myself, like, oh, yeah, we got to put Rachel's safety first, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we know that doesn't work out. I wonder, though... If there is, if this is going to be like a canon game, or if it's going to be like, well, maybe we can save Rachel, and you know, it's just for the lore, but the the canon thing that happens is ultimately, you know, Rachel's not around anymore, but I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of do something where, like at the end of Life is Strange, they just do two completely different endings just because, just for, you know, game's sake. So I'm, I'm not so sure that Rachel is completely gone yet. I don't know, we'll see. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get the broom for you, <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna go beat him up with it. 
feel really weird. Here, I have the broom, I guess. Um, here you go. You want the broom? Yeah, here you go. Uh, here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Why? <laughs> Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? Uh, how am I doing? The right. Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. That's <laughs> super weird. Doing better than Rachel? Uh, <laughs> the left one feels a little less guilt trippy. <laughs> I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... <laughs> right. Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. So, <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that kind of bothers me about all this. She's like, yeah, a couple hours ago, everything was so great. Yeah, your whole relationship is based off of you meeting Rachel, like, a day ago, maybe? Has it been that long? Maybe 48 hours at most? I don't even know if it's been that long. I think maybe 48 hours. This has been, like, a two-day affair. And they're like, we're gonna leave our lives behind, and we're gonna go to L.A., and everything's just gonna be amazing, and we're gonna eat food truck food, and we're gonna... We're gonna smoke up and talk to hot blonde dudes? Like... <laughs> what is going on? Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. Ooh. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. <laughs> You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? Yeah. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? Yeah. I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Looks like she's gonna barf <laughs> into that sink. You're like welcome I'm... to stay here as long as you need to. Well, maybe I should look at the family photo. It's so weird to look at this now. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Where does Rachel get the brown hair? <laughs> Makes sense now when you look at it, right? Like, you don't look like her. You don't look like her. Oh, where does she get it from? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I guess you just kind of attribute, like, oh, she's a teenage girl. She could be, like, dying her hair or something. You don't really think about it. Well, let's just mosey on up into here, huh? Hmm. And it's not like dying hair is something that you don't see in the series, either. Like, Chloe's usually rocking blue hair, so... Hey chat, there's gonna be four parts to this Life is Strange episode here. Usually I do episodic things in three parts, but this is really long. It's really long like episode two was. It's actually close to three hours long. So this is gonna be split into four parts because of that. That way people can come back and watch it, you know, in their time that they have time and that they don't have to feel like they have to go find the spot in the video where I ended it off. 
So, like I said, there's gonna be four parts total. It gets really good. I really do like this a lot. Episode three was good. I wasn't a big fan of episode one or two. I was I was prepared to be let down, honestly. But episode three, I felt, was really good. I liked it a lot. I think you guys will like it too. So, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate your time. If you enjoyed these videos and you want to see differences, I have an alternate playthrough ready. Make sure you are subbed. That way you can see those videos as I release them. And I'll actually be live streaming that whenever I get time to live stream it. So make sure you're following me on Twitch, which is also in the description. But thank you guys so much for being here. Comment down below what you've thought of Life is Strange Before the Storm so far. And I'd love to read it. So again, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.